recent news, Dr. Mbaisenin Lozi, a founding member of the Economic Freedom Fighters, made a significant and surprising announcement regarding his decision to decline the position of deputy president within the EFF. Despite being one of the most prominent figures in the party and having served as a representative voice for its ideals, Nlozi has chosen to step away from this high-profile leadership role. Instead, he affirmed his dedication to the party's mission, suggesting that his talents and commitment can be better utilized in ways other than formal leadership. This decision marks a noteworthy point in both his career and the EFF's internal dynamics, and it has already sparked discussions among political commentators and supporters alike. Dr. Nlozi has been with the EFF since its inception, helping to build the party's foundation and rise to influence in South Africa. With a background in academia and a reputation for passionate oratory, he has become a recognizable figure in South African politics. His strong commitment to economic reform and social justice aligns closely with the EFF's goals, making his voice essential in promoting the party's agenda. Throughout his tenure, he has actively championed issues such as economic empowerment, land redistribution, and the rights of marginalized communities, themes that are central to the EFF's vision for South Africa. Nlozi's role within the EFF has often extended beyond the standard duties of a politician, as he has continuously worked to shape the intellectual and ideological direction of the party. Given his influence and his close connection to the party's mission, Nlozi's decision to decline the deputy president role came as a surprise to many. His choice reflects a perspective that true leadership does not always require a formal title. Nlozi cited a desire to concentrate on other aspects of his work with the EFF, particularly those that align with his strengths and passions, as the motivation for his decision. According to sources within the EFF, this move should not be seen as a sign of internal division. Rather, Nlozi's choice appears to demonstrate his ongoing commitment to supporting the EFF's broader vision in ways that he feels will be most effective. He believes his contributions can have a greater impact in roles that allow him to engage directly with grassroots initiatives and strategic planning, rather than in an official leadership position. Nlozi's announcement comes at a strategically significant moment for the EFF. With the 2024 national elections on the horizon, the party is undergoing a period of recalibration to solidify its position and impact. The role of deputy president has traditionally been regarded as a pathway to higher leadership positions within the EFF. By choosing to step away from this opportunity, Nlozi has made a statement about his philosophy on leadership and commitment. He views leadership as a collective effort rather than something that requires a title or hierarchical position. This stance suggests that he believes the success of the EFF depends on teamwork and unity rather than individual ambition. His decision could influence how other members of the EFF, particularly younger members, think about their roles within the party. Julius Malima, the leader of the EFF, expressed support for Nlozi's choice. He highlighted that the EFF values integrity and respects the autonomy of its leaders to make decisions that align with their personal convictions. Malima's response reinforces the idea that the EFF promotes a culture of independence and commitment to the greater mission, rather than an environment where leaders are expected to follow a set path. In his statement, Malima praised Nlozi for prioritizing the movement over personal advancement, calling his decision a demonstration of true leadership. Malima's support shows that the EFF leadership is unified in respecting decisions that ultimately benefit the party's mission and integrity. In his own words, Nlozi conveyed a deep sense of commitment to the EFF's mission. He stated that he feels his role is best served by working on the front lines of the movement, advocating for the party's goals and values directly with the people. He emphasized that his dedication to the EFF remains steadfast and that he intends to continue supporting the deputy president and other leadership figures within the party. Nlozi also expressed a desire to focus on specific areas that he is passionate about, including economic justice, youth engagement, and policy development. 
These focus areas highlight his interest in shaping the EFF's future direction through meaningful engagement with pressing issues, especially those that affect young people and the economically marginalized. Political analysts have begun weighing in on the significance of Nlozi's decision, suggesting that it reveals a level of maturity and unity within the EFF that could strengthen its appeal to voters. Some analysts argue that Nlozi's decision reflects a nuanced understanding of leadership and collaboration, suggesting that the EFF's approach to internal roles allows for flexibility and individual expression. Nlozi's choice may also resonate with younger members of the party, who could view his decision as a demonstration of humility and dedication. By choosing to prioritize the EFF's mission over a leadership title, Nlozi could serve as an example of a leader who places the collective good above personal ambition. This decision also sheds light on the evolving nature of the EFF as it prepares for the upcoming elections. As the party focuses on strengthening its platform and expanding its reach, Nlozi's role as a supportive figure outside of the formal leadership structure could contribute to a sense of unity and cohesion. His continued advocacy for EFF principles without the constraints of a title may allow him to engage with the public in a more direct and authentic manner. This approach aligns with the EFF's grassroots focus strategies, reinforcing its image as a party that values connection with the people over hierarchical power dynamics. As the EFF looks to the future, Nlozi's decision could have significant implications for the party's internal dynamics and public perception. His choice to focus on activism, strategic planning, and grassroots involvement might inspire other members to think critically about how they can contribute to the party's goals in meaningful ways, regardless of their position within the hierarchy. In conclusion, Dr. Mbaiseni Nlozi's decision to decline the deputy president role within the economic freedom fighters is a notable and strategic choice that reflects his dedication to the party's mission. By choosing to focus on grassroots work and policy development, Nlozi has demonstrated a unique perspective on leadership that values collaboration over titles. His decision underscores the EFF's emphasis on collective effort and could serve as an example for other party members and supporters. For viewers watching, what do you think about Nlozi's decision to step away from formal leadership while remaining committed to the EFF's mission? Is this the type of leadership that resonates with you? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell icon for more insights into South African politics and beyond. Your engagement helps us bring you more content on critical issues shaping the nation, so please join the conversation.